this is Sarah from Sarah's Reading Nook and today I'm going to be doing a book haul. Oh and before I go forward I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who is new to the channel and everyone who is returning to the channel. We hit 500 subscribers. It means the world to me and especially to Olivia who was sort of like my camera cat over there. Remember don't forget to like it really helps the channel out and without Further ado, let's get into the books, because there's quite a few of them. <laughs> okay, so now we are starting with this book, which is by Silvia Moreno-Garcia, and she is the author of Mexican Gothic, which I have right behind me, right here, and I absolutely love this book. So I was like, I could get one Silvia Moreno-Garcia book, or I can get two. So I got two. So now I'm gonna have three of her books. So this is one of her early books. It's called Gods of Jade and Shadow. And this is about a young woman and she is stuck in a small town that she desperately wants to get out of. She opens a curious wooden box and out comes a deity. And from there they go on an adventure. And this is based off of a fairy tale. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I think that it will be a very good one. Either I will get to it this summer or it might actually be good for fall. We'll see how that goes. And so the second Silvia Moreno Garcia book that I got is called Untamed Shore. It sounds like a very suspenseful read and just it's so beautiful. It has like these earthy tones and just looks awesome. And this is about a young woman who is named Veridinia in 1979 in Beja, California. So she watches the fishermen come to the shore and spends her days by the sea. But then one day, three wealthy American tourists, they arrive and she actually becomes intertwined with their lives. Now, one of the American tourists dies and so Virginia starts to lie to others, but eventually someone comes to ask her questions about the event. And so she's sort of tangled in this web of deceit and lies. So it just sounds like a very suspenseful novel, very intriguing, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, now the next book is called The Last Confession of Autumn Casterly by Meredith Tate. And this is a teen thriller and it is concerned with Autumn who has gone missing. Her sister Ivy discovers that she's gone missing and seeks to find her. The closer that she comes to finding out the truth, the closer she is to danger. Autumn has actually been keeping an important secret from Ivy and I'm curious to know what that is. So this looks like a good summer read full of suspense and thrill. And along those same lines, we have Monday is Not Coming and that's a novel by Tiffany D. Jackson. So it states that this is the story of how my best friend disappeared, how nobody noticed she was gone except for me, and how nobody cared until they found her one year later. This looks like it has the potential based off of the reviews at the back to go over some very important themes such as race, marginalization, as well as friendship. I've heard nothing but good things and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so next we have a really cute looking book. It is called The Switch and it's by Beth O'Leary. After reading the synopsis, I had some like parent trap vibes. Is it parent trap? No, I was thinking more of Freaky Friday. So we have Eileen and she has just turned 80 years old. And so she wants to find a new love. However, where she is living in Yorkshire, there aren't that many gentlemen that are available. At the same time as this, we also have Lena, who is her granddaughter, who is in her 20s. And now Lena is just on a sabbatical now. Actually, she was forced to go on sabbatical after kind of messing up a presentation at work. It's a big deal for Lena. And so I think that that has affected her to some degree, of course. But it's actually Lena who has the idea to switch places with Eileen. So Eileen, she will live in London and look for love. And Lena will stay in Yorkshire and she will just take care of the place. But it sounds like that won't be that simple. And there may be a couple of wrenches thrown in. Sounds super cute and like a nice summer read. So next we have Chlorine Sky and this is by Mahogany L. Brown. And this is actually a novel written in verse. And actually, Elizabeth Acevedo at the back of here, she states that Mahogany L. Brown's debut novel is an absolute masterpiece. It will leave you breathless. So of course this is a YA and it says that it goes over broken promises, fast rumors, and when growing up means growing apart from your best friend. 
I love books like this and am definitely looking forward to it. So if you like novels written in verse, for instance, any of Elizabeth Acevedo's books like The Poet X, then this would be a really good book to check out. And I'm looking forward to reading it and letting you know my thoughts. So next we have Indians on Vacation and this is by Thomas King and that's actually why I picked this book up because I know that he is such a good author. He is an indigenous author from Canada. He's also written The Inconvenient Indian, which is just spectacular. So in this book, it sounds actually quite funny and satirical. So we have Bird and Mimi. And so they try to trace the journey of Mimi's long lost uncle, who is Uncle Leroy. And so along the way, along their holiday trip to Prague and to beyond, their wanderings through the European capitals reveal a complicated history, both personal and political. I've heard absolute just amazing things about this book, and I think I want to read it this summer. We'll see. So next, I'll just briefly go over this one. This is called Sonnets from the Portuguese, and it is actually by an English poet. Just filled with sonnets, I have read this before and actually used this for a Rory Gilmore reading challenge, but I just loved it, and it just looks so beautiful. And so this is a book that I'm reading this month. It is called A Cat, A Man, and Two Women, and it's by Junichiro Tanizaki. This is a cat book, obviously. <laughs> And it states on the back that there is a oddball love triangle. And it is also one of the finest pieces of literature concerning cats ever written. Super cute. So the next two books I am reading this month, Before the Coffee Gets Cold and also Last Tang Standing. Started both of these. This one features like a really interesting coffee shop where people go and they are able to travel back in time, but they have to return back to present before the coffee gets cold. And this one has been described as like a Bridget Jones slash Crazy Rich Asians mix up, mashup, and it's reading very funny so far. So I'm enjoying both of these so far. Then we have a YA fiction. This is by Eden Robinson, and she has read in the Trickster series. This series features an indigenous youth who is from Northern British Columbia. He has a tumultuous sort of family life and sort of acts to be the person in the family that holds everything together while also trying to do well in school. However, he is able to delve into magic, whether or not he wants to. And from there, there's just so many things that happen to him that are unfortunate, adventurous, strange. And I can't wait to see what the last installment is like because book two left off at just like a fantastic point where I just kept wanting to read. So I have this book in my hands and yeah, can't wait. So now the next book that I have is called Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. Now this is a book that I've seen basically everywhere with tons and tons of praise, with many people saying that it's one of the best books that they have ever read. So it chronicles a group of black British women and it's described as a magnificent portrayal of the intersections of identity and a moving, hopeful story. It won the 2019 Booker Prize and apparently Barack Obama is a fan. And I remember asking on Instagram, like what are your favorite books? to everyone. And my friend Tara from Reading with Tara, she mentioned that this is one of her most precious books. Okay, I got another cat book. It's called I Am a Cat, so obviously it's a cat book. And it's by Sosuke Natsume. And now this has three editions. They were published, I believe, in something like 1905, 1906, 1907, and were just put together in this collection. And there is an unwanted kitty, and so this kitten is just observing human nature. And so it sounds like a social commentary, but also the potential to be quite funny as well, full of like wisecracks and just uh, funny observations of humans, which I love. Okay, in the next book, we just have two more. This one I have just been wanting to read for quite some time. The cover of this book, it just is always been with me in my mind and you'll see what I mean. So the book is called Lore and you may have heard of this book, I don't know. This is by Alexandra Bracken and I believe it is a YA. So I've accumulated like a decent amount of YA books here. So from what I've gathered at the center of this book is something called the Aegon. And this is a punishment where nine Greek gods are forced to walk the earth as mortals. 
And this is an ongoing thing that happens like every seven years. And they are hunted by the descendants of ancient bloodlines, all eager to kill a god and seize the divine power and immortality. And it looks like there is Athena, who is one of the old goddesses. So she offers Lord Perseus an alliance against their mutual enemy and a way to leave the Aegon behind forever. But it looks like this alliance will come at a deadly cost. I'll be honest, I've heard mixed reviews about this. I kind of like that because I've heard mixed reviews about Mexican Gothic and I just loved it. So we'll see how this one fares. Intrigued to see. Okay, now we have come to our last book, which is Transcendent Kingdom, which is a novel by Ya Gyasi. And first of all, can we just, it's so pretty. So this is by the author that wrote Homegoing, which I myself have not read yet, but I've heard great things about. So it goes over really interesting themes such as faith, science, religion, love. And at the heart of it is an immigrant Ghanaian family. Not sure when I'm going to get to this, but this just kind of struck me as just like a perfect read. So yeah, those are all the books that I have to show you today. Let me know if any of these sound interesting to you. If you've read any of these, let me know down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all those things. Share, we definitely appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. That's everything for today. Bye. Thank you.